This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm once again joined by Mark Castro here in Miami this time though. Mark, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you sir? I'm good, thank you. It's good to catch up with you once again as I say. Obviously you saw Fight Week once again, you're only what, two months on since your last fight, since your debut. How does it feel to get back in the ring so soon after your last bout? Um, it feels good, especially because I always feel like I feel better in training camp because I'm at the best version of myself, being healthy, um, being in the best shape and just eating well. A frustrating 2020 for yourself because of the pandemic, not being able to get out, COVID and what have you. Is this the year where you feel like you have to be as active as possible to kind of make up for that? Or is this just kind of by chance you've been able to get back out so soon? Um, I feel like I'm not trying to rush anything, just trying to build a solid foundation. It doesn't matter. I try not to look at the years and just keep going, keep working, uh, stay healthy, live a healthy lifestyle and just be prepared for my fights. And uh, when I get the calls and like for when I got the call for this fight, I was super excited and super stoked. So my main thing is like, all right, fight mode, baby. So it's about your fight on Saturday night. Then what are you expecting from your opponent and what should everybody expect to see from the pair of you in the ring? I feel like uh, he's a real Mexican, uh, like a Mexican, tough Mexican fighter. Like he takes big shots. So that's kind of going to test my power in the sense like if I can stop him or I cannot stop him because like Mexicans are known to be taking big shots. And boxing on another Canelo undercard, what's it mean to you to obviously get these opportunities to fight on the card of the man who many consider the star in the sport? Uh, it feels great because uh, being a part of it is kind of like, it's huge because a lot of kids wish that they could be in this position and I put in the work, I put in the sacrifice and I'm thankful and I'm grateful for being in this position and I'm super excited because I look up to Canelo a lot. Now, Canelo, your dream means the headlong fight. Just your thoughts on that, Mark? Uh, it feels like it's a mandatory, and it's kind of like, it's a mandatory, but we kind of just like had to take it because um, he's being active. It's not like he's only fighting like two, twice a year. Imagine if he's only fighting twice a year. He's going to fight five times in 12 months. Billy Joe, Caleb, Billy Joe, Charlo, then Caleb Flint. So he's going to be unified this year. Talk to me about, talk to me about that, that Mark. Um, you just mentioned he wants to fight five times within 12 months. We don't really see champions do that, especially somebody like Canelo, who is considered a star in sport, like I say. How is it refreshing, is it, to see somebody kind of decide to take that approach? Um, it's exciting because as a fan standpoint, you're, you're like, oh, like, we're going to watch the Canelo fight. Oh, we're going to watch the Canelo fight. But it's kind of putting a lot of people on check. Like for the young fighters, kind of like there's no, like for me, it's not like there's no excuses for me because you better get back in the gym because Canelo's doing it, you could do it too. Talk about kind of a remainder of this year for yourself then, Mark. How do you see the rest of 2021 playing out for yourself, especially when you've just said yourself, if Canelo can do it, there's no excuse for you. I feel like uh, this fight, five fights this year, including this one, or maybe five fights minimum. Uh, this one probably May 8th for Canelo's, Canelo and Billy Joe. And then from there, I don't know, maybe Anthony Joshua card, Eddie Hearn, put me on there. <laughs> and it don't matter. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. Now, that's the final thing I was trying to touch on, Eddie Hearn. I remember when you signed with Eddie and they made the announcement in Texas last year. There was a lot of excitement about you. Eddie was speaking so highly about you. You were somebody who was chasing for a long time to get your signature over the line. How have you found working with Eddie, in particular through this entire pandemic? I love Eddie, um, the way he is with... Um, like the new promoter, I always said he was the future when I signed with him. And uh, when I was thinking, and now look, it's showing the testimony because he got Canelo for the next two fights. He got Canelo for his last fight. So I'm happy to be with Eddie. I feel like Eddie's really open-minded and he speaks his mind and he's not afraid to be judged. And if he's judged or like if he's wrong, he's not afraid to admit it. Mark, I'll leave that there now. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. But I'm leaving a final word to yourself, for all of your fans and for everyone who will tune in to watch you on Saturday. What would you like to say to them? Thank you for all the support. Uh, I'm going to keep working hard. I'm dedicating myself to the sport and I uh, want to make you guys fans. Hope you guys become fans. Appreciate it. Mark, it's a pleasure to catch up with you. Thank you for speaking to Boxing Social. Uh, Boxing Social. Shout out Boxing Social. <laughs>